Hello everyone, welcome. This is Alison Okamitsu here from nicepeoplestamp.com. Thank you for joining me for my live crafting show. We have something so cool today. We are making a card that lights up. So um, uh, let's rewind <laughs> um, about a month. And I, had, I was looking through the holiday catalog and I was looking at the Joyful Flurry bundle and the cool dyes that come with this bundle and how they how they work is they have like these peekaboos. And I thought, hmm, wouldn't that be cool if there was like light shining through there? So then I got some stuff and I figured it out. <laughs> and we're gonna make a card that lights up. Um, lights up. I'm gonna teach you from start to finish how to do it. And you'll have to excuse me if things don't go to plan. I've only made one of these cards a couple of times, but it's really cool. So I think that you're gonna be really excited to see it. Um, I have one already made and I'll show it to you. It was impossible to get a picture that showed um, how it lights up. And with the lights in my studio, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see how it lights up on camera. Um, I'm hoping you can. We're gonna sort of see as we go in. So it's really fun. So I wanna mention before we get into everything today that I would love to hear from you in the comments. It always makes my day when there are some nice loving comments. However, if you don't have anything nice to say, you can just leave it to yourself. It just hurts my feelings if you are sending me nasty comments. That's not very nice. So you can just move along if you don't like the video. Also, I would love a thumbs up if you like the video and don't for forget to subscribe. So I go live once a week or more and um, I also sometimes upload like pre-recorded videos. So if you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell, you'll get notified so you know when I have a new video. And I have a feeling that you are going to want the products I'm using to make today's card. So there's a list of products from my Stampin' Up! online store. And then there's like an additional products use section. All of these items are listed in the video description. So make sure to check that out if you want to make a card that lights up just like mine. And yeah, I'm excited to get into it. So we are using the Joyful Flurry Bundle. It is beautiful snowflakes. And it's also my online class of this week. So if you haven't yet signed up for the Joyful Flurry online class, I just released it today. People have already started signing up. So if you want a spot in that class, let me know. Um, there's a link in the video description to that as well. I wanna say hi to Pam and Donna and Karen who have already popped in to say hello in the comments. Make sure you say hello so I can give you a shout out as well. So we have people tuning in from Canada and Texas so far. I am also in Canada, so I, I'm in Calgary, Alberta, but I have customers and demonstrator friends all over Canada and well, demonstrator friends all over the world and um, customers all over the country. So no matter where you live in Canada, you can shop in my online store. I'm doing a lot of hand talking tonight, aren't I? Hi, Betty. So I'll try and keep the hand talking to a minimum. And you know what? Let's just get stamping. This card is super fun. It will take a little bit longer than our regular kind of live video, I think, just because there's a lot more pieces. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. <gasps> I can't wait for you to see this card. And I'm gonna show you the card before we even start. So you know what we're working towards, be just because it's a little bit more, I don't know, more involved, okay? All right, last but not least, at least for this part of the video, <laughs> the shirts and totes that um, I have for pre-order. The pre-order closes September 30th. We are talking a couple of days away, my friends. If you want this design in a sweatshirt, t-shirt, or tote bag, they are available for pre-order till September 30th. And then this design is going in the vault, okay? So don't miss it. Uh, there is a link in the video description for that as well. If there is um, <laughs> a link you need, it's probably in the video description. There's a theme here, right? Okay, let's get to stamping. We've got a great, great, great card and I'm excited. So let's get into it. All right, so let me just get our camera situated here and you can be excited to see the Joyful Flurry Bundle. Okay, so let's get you sorted. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, we'll move that up a bit. I have my phone in because I am a tad bit worried 
that my phone might um, run out of battery, but it kind of pulls on the on the phone a little bit. So I'm just trying to figure out how I can make that a little better. Oh, I think that's about, whoa, that's even worse. Okay, just stop touching it, right? Okay, let's see. You know what, I think that'll have to do. Let me get you, mm, let's see. I'm just trying to get you the best view because you're gonna wanna make this art and I want it to be a good tutorial for you so you can refer back to it. All right, is that good? I think that's going to work, yay. Okay, so here is our joyful foolery bundle. This bundle is found in the Stampin' Up! Holiday Mini Catalog, also known as the July to December Catalog. Of course, it's also in my online store. So this bundle is really cool in the fact that it has kind of all the earmarkers of a great bundle, in my opinion. So it has imagery. It has dyes that coordinate with the imagery. It has sentiments. It has dyes that cut out the sentiments. And then it has some specialty dyes, okay? And the specialty dyes are what makes this light up card the most unique and really, really fun, okay? All right, so hello. We have Marcella and Gina also popping in. Excellent. So the, the intricate dyes, with this peekaboo is what makes the light up really, really cool. So let me show you the card we're gonna make and how it lights up. So here is the card and you can't really see how it lights up on the video, but because it's so bright in here because of my, but all this whole section with the snowflake lights up. I just press right here and it lights up. You can only really see it in those dots, but I wonder if I have something that I could like hold over it to make it dark. Let me see. Quick thinking. Do I have like a box or something? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Okay, let me see if this will work. I'm gonna kind of like turn out a couple lights here and hopefully, just for a minute so you can see the card light up because it's just so neat. Okay, oh, I think we need more lights off. All right. Okay, it's pretty dark in here. There's just like the shine of my laptop. Okay, so now maybe you can see it a bit better. Oh yeah, there we go. So now you can see that whole snowflake section lights up. Isn't that beautiful? And those are the peekaboo dyes that I was talking about. You just, oh, I just think it is so, so pretty how that looks. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I made this card start to finish with the paper circuit inside and the little light. And I'll show you all the things I used. Cool, right? Oh, I can see your comments. Thank you, everyone. Okay, let's get these lights back on so you can see what I'm making. And we're going to make this really fun. There we go. All right, lights are happening. All right, I need an assistant for today's video. <laughs> okay, so let's first off start with talking about the lighted piece and what you're going to need. So you'll need these LED lights. They come in these strips, okay? And you peel back this plastic to take out one of the little lights. They come in different colors and they're quite simple and easy and they're not very bulky, okay? So we're gonna use one of these later in our card. So that's one thing you need. You know, I might as well just keep it out because we're gonna need it. I'm using white, okay? We're also needing some copper tape and this is adhesive on one side, okay? So there's like this paper backer and it's sticky, okay? So this is copper tape. And then the thing that makes this card a little bit bulky is the battery. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera stand. So the battery is a CR2032, OK? 
okay? So it's just a little battery. And again, I have links for all of it um, in the description, but those are the things that make it work. And then I'm gonna show you how to put it together and um, kind of go over a few little pitfalls that you might run into um, to help you get through that if you're gonna make a card like this. All right, so let me move my little light. And like so many come in these strips. Like there's just so many on here. Like I can make lighted cards till, till the cows come home. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> till the cows come home. Okay, so first what I need to do is I need to take my piece of Starry Sky cardstock and I need to put in those snowflakes that have the peekaboo holes in them. So only the top one really lights up. It's the only place I put the light. Um, but there is another one down here and you can see, if, if you look at the card kind of from an angle, you can see that peekaboo through. So what I need to do is get those two die cut, really just this one, but I might as well do them both at the same time. So that way I know where to place the light. Okay. So I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to stamp and die cut some images just so I have them ready for when I'm putting my card together. So why don't I take my, this is just a piece of basic white and I'm going to use my balmy blue ink pad and I'm going to stamp two of our snowflakes because I'm gonna cut those out. Okay, so we've got one there and another one, okay. And then I also want my sentiment and for my sentiment I'm doing, it's a season of magic and wonder. I mean, perfect sentiment for a card that lights up, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and die cut those when I bring my machine in, okay. I also have, so this was just a piece of scrap. This piece, because I know you're going to ask, is four inches by five and a quarter. And this is the Starry Sky cardstock. I also have a piece of Balmy Blue, and this is just a scrap piece as well. But I'm going to need to die cut that because I want some extra snowflakes because this card is extra special. Okay. All right. So let's bring in our stamp and cut and emboss. Okay. There we go. And we need our platform and our plates. All right, so why don't we just go ahead and start with our imagery first. We've got our dies here, and I've got dies that line up with my images and also dies for my sentiments. Oh, I just love a die set that has like imagery and sentiment dies. So Joyful Flurry Bundle is great. Okay, so let's get our sentiment lined up. Okay, and I'm just using a little bit of my positioning tape. And you guys always ask for the link for that too. It's in the video description, okay? And I need a little bit more for my snowflakes. Okay, all right. So we'll just get these lined up. And I'm not worried about these snowflakes being like perfect, perfect lined up because they're actually kind of getting tucked behind the sentiment a little. So if they're not perfect, no one's going to notice because they're just, they're like the secondary images to the, to the big, beautiful, um, light up snowflakes. Okay. So I'm not super stressed about, oh geez, with this cord, my camera wants to shake a little. So sorry about that. But I am worried that my phone will die. And this is going to be one of those tutorials that you're going to want to come back to. So I want to make sure nothing goes wrong. All right. So here is our sentiment. I can save my tape here. There we go. Ta-da! Okay. And then we have our stamped snowflakes. So cute. Oh my goodness, I love them. All right, these snowflake images are so dainty and pretty. And look at this one. I think this one's one of my favorites. Oh, that's two together. Hello, there we go. Pretty, right? And again, that was with the balmy blue ink, okay? All right, so now I want to die cut my pieces that are going to be the light up, okay? so. When I look at my card, 
I've got one up in this top quadrant and one in this bottom quadrant. Okay, so the one that lights up is going to be this one that's kind of in the top. So if this, this is my card. I just like to run it through the other way. But if this is um, the front, it's going to look kind of like that. And then this one, is it this one? No, it's this one, goes kind of down here. Okay, so I'm going to run it through that way. And then you want to make sure that it's not touching the edge because I do want to use some um, glue around the edges of this. So if it touches the edge or if it's too close to the edge, you might not be able to glue the backer piece on. Okay, so we also need some little snowflakes with our balmy blue. So you might as well run that through at the same time. So let's get that happening. Okay. There we go. You've all become very quiet in the comments. I hope that means you're like intent on paying attention to how this card comes together. <laughs> I know you're probably anxious to get to the light up part, but there's some steps that you got to do to get there first. Okay. And I do need one more of those little tiny snowflakes. So let's run that through again. Okay. There we go. All right, so I think that is all of our die cut pieces. If I'm not mistaken, we can always bring out the machine again, but I think we're okay to put it away for now. There we go. Oh, yay. <laughs> I see in the comments, I'm paying attention. I've never made a light up card before. Well, it's pretty cool, and I think you're really going to like it, Gina. Okay, so I've just got my take your pick tool here to release these dies from, or the paper from the dies. Okay, and I'll put those in my pile of pieces that are kind of ready to go here. All right, so I'm done with those dies. And now I wanna show you the cool feature of these other dies. So you can see it kind of just looks like an outline, really. We've got all these little dots that need to come out. So you can poke the dots out. But what's really cool is how you can pop up these pieces. So what I do is I turn it over and I just kind of use my take your pick tool to point them up. And then you get this beautiful peekaboo look. So it's not important for me to have those little peekaboos showing yet. I'm not gonna poke them all up. I actually have some other pieces um, to put onto my card first and I find that if I poke them all up and then I start putting my card together and stuff um I just have to poke them all up again <laughs> because you know the handling of the card makes it so they kind of go back down um but you can easily kind of prop them back up but I might as well just wait until we're at that point so I just got out all those little dots that would be a fun confetti for the inside of a card all those little starry sky dots okay so now I want to add some additional stamping onto this piece because we are going to do like this beautiful, um, it's like a flurry. It's a real flurry of snowflakes, if you will. Okay. So I've got a piece of my scrap paper here. This is just my small grid paper. Okay. And I want to do some stamping with my Starry Sky ink. So I'm going to stamp star Starry Sky ink onto Starry Sky cardstock. And so we get this beautiful tone on tone. So I'm using one of the small snowflakes. There we go. And you know, I need to do some embossing too, but I can do that in a minute. I'm also going to do some of the little polka dots. So this is another stamp that's in this set. Okay, maybe a little over here. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some heat embossing, but because I just stamped in Starry Sky, I don't want my embossing powder to stick to that ink, so I'm just gonna heat set it. So this is just my heat tool. We're gonna use this for our embossing as well, but I just wanna make sure that I don't have any ink or any embossing powder that sticks to those stamped images. All 
All right, I think we're probably good, but just to be safe. All right. So I now want to go in with the two stamps that I've already used, the snowflakes. So I'm gonna have to give them a quick wash. So I'm using my stamp and scrub with my mist. Okay, so this is just the stamp and mist. And then I have my scrub. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, thank you, looking pretty I see in the comments. I realize they're talking about my card and not me. <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> I'm so cheeky today. Okay, so now when we're doing our heat embossing, we need our heat tool, which I already showed you, but we also need our Versamark ink and some embossing powder. So I just put mine into like a little, um, I think I got those at the dollar store, those little containers, just because um, I like to have something that if I have a small piece, I can kind of dip it in. This time I'm going to be sprinkling it on top, but you get the idea. Okay, so Versamark ink pad. I'm gonna ink up one of my snowflakes and just stamp it right on in there, okay? So we'll get some embossing powder on that. There we go. And I'll just get the excess into my container here. Oh, I have a little spot that's missing. Okay, oh, I hate it when I shake it over my table. I shouldn't have done that because I get like that sandy embossing powder on my table. Yeah, it's there, gotta get it off. I don't know why it drives me crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna shake off the excess, kind of just give it a tap. And I do sometimes take a little like paintbrush or something to remove the excess. But with this card, we have like this flurry of snow. So it doesn't really bother me if I have little extra sprinkles of embossing powder. So let's heat this one up. Oh goodness, I've dropped the heat tool already. Good grief. <laughs> oh Gina <laughs> you're so kind okay so we're going to heat set that embossing powder so the powder it goes from a powder to a glossy raised image if you haven't used embossing powder before it's pretty fantastic and I do have a little bit of embossing powder that was loose on my card front and you can see it's turned white as well, but I think it kind of adds to that like flurry of snowflakes kind of look. So, oh, I tried to stamp into my embossing powder. No, we're gonna stamp in Versamark and stamp another one of our snowflakes. Okay, get some embossing powder on there. Here we go. Okay, so put a lid on that. And let's put a lid on this before I get it everywhere. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can see it. There's like a little pile of it. It likes to get all over my table. I don't know why. I just really dislike that like sandy feel on my table from excess embossing powder. Like you can kind of, I don't, there's none now, but. Okay. So let's heat set this snowflake. And then we're working on the light up part. We kind of have our pieces ready and we can do the light up. Okay, so get that embossing powder set. All right, so now when it comes to the light up, you need a piece of cardstock that's going to go behind this. That is what you're going to put like your light and your battery and everything onto, okay? So let me just find mine, okay? So this piece is just ever so slightly smaller than the Starry Sky piece, okay? And it's gonna go behind. So I want to position my white behind, okay? I'm not sticking it down, but I'm positioning it because I want to plan where my little light is gonna go. So I just have a pen here and this isn't gonna show through, but I've got a pen and I'm just marking where these little dots are in my die because that helps me find the center point which is where I want my light to go. 
Okay, and I'm using, I would normally just use like a pencil or um, like a light colored marker, but because I'm doing a video, I wanna make sure you can see it. So I am using a black pen. Okay, so now you can see that's where the center of that snowflake is. And I basically want to try and end up with my light somewhere around there, okay? So the way the light works, Oh, and one other thing you need is packing tape. And I didn't tell you that, but I'm gonna grab some in a minute. So the way the light works is there's like a positive side and a negative side, and you have a battery that has a positive and a negative, okay? And we need to connect the ends of the light to the battery. And we do that using our copper tape. So this is, again, probably more copper tape than I'll ever need, um, but, I just got a roll. So what we need to do is we're gonna have our battery and our battery needs to go inside like a little housing. So I've just got a piece of white cardstock here. It's just about like, I think I did three inches by an inch and a quarter or something and then folded it in half. And our battery is gonna be housed inside here, okay? And then when we have our copper tape, it's, trust me, it's gonna all come together, you'll get it. Um, it's going to, when we press, it's going to have the battery light up the light. So we need to do a couple of things. First, we need to put this little battery housing onto our card. So I'm just, or our piece of cardstock. So I'm just gonna take a bit of my seal adhesive, okay? And put that onto my card. So I'm not putting it right at the edge because I want to be able to put my adhesive foam strips around. So don't put it at the edge of your card, kind of put it in here. And you can see that I'm just going to have it like kind of right in there on my card. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is take my pen and I'm going to draw myself like a little circuit line because I want to make sure that I'm putting everything, um, like, I don't wanna accidentally make a mistake so of where everything's gonna go. So I need one of my copper tape pieces to kind of come down here and go onto the back side of this card, this little flappy card bit, okay? And you can use a ruler, but no one's gonna see this. It's not a big deal. And then I need another one that's gonna come from inside the flap and around Okay, and we're gonna have to make a turn and then up to this other side, okay? So let's put the easy one on first. Let's put the straight one, okay? So I'm just gonna take my copper tape. Like I said, it has that little backing piece and we're gonna take the backing off and we're going to put it just down like that. So it comes into that piece where my battery is gonna go. One thing you wanna do is make sure that you smooth out that copper tape so it just is a better conductor that way. If you have a whole bunch of like folds and everything, it just doesn't conduct as well. Okay, so your two pieces of copper tape, you don't want them to touch, okay? Um, you don't want them to touch each other anywhere along their journey. So that's why I've kind of got one going this way, but they need to be close enough that the two ends of this will touch each one, okay? So they can't be far apart. They have to be close enough that this little light can touch both sides or both pieces of tape, okay? So I'm just gonna take my tape and I can even, I'm not gonna to totally follow my line because I wanna make sure that my pieces are close enough together. So I'm just making sure they don't touch, but they're close. And now I can kind of bend back around and kind of do that triangle. You can put folds in the tape, okay? So don't, don't worry too much about that. You just need to go over and kind of flatten them out with your bone folder because we need to do a corner here. We're going around the corner, so we're just folding it. Okay, you don't want to rip it if you can avoid it. Okay, and then over the top and to the inside 
of that little piece. Okay, and then I can rip it. It rips really easily, you don't have to cut it. So that is our little circuit. Let me use my bone folder to just smooth out all of those pieces of copper. Okay. There we go. Okay, I think it should work. Let's take our battery. Oh, my copper is a little bit bent over right there. So let me just fix that up. Okay, so where's my battery? I'll put my battery inside. Okay, so it's in there and then I'm putting my light on and look at that. I hope you can see that my battery has lit up my light. Now, if it didn't light up the first time I put it on there, I could switch it the other way because it might not be that the positive, like the positive and the negative aren't marked on here. So if I put it on the first time, let's do it the other way so it doesn't light up. If, oh, come on. If I put it on the first time and it doesn't light up, Okay, so I've put it on, my battery is in there, I'm pressing down, but it's not lighting up. Spin it so the little um, conductor pieces, I don't know, the little silver parts are touching on the different ends. And then you've got your positive and your negative lined up. Isn't that cute? Look, ta-da! Okay, so how I'm going to adhere my light is I'm going to use a piece of packing tape because I just want it right stuck down. Let's just go ahead and put this on top and it's a it's about in the right spot. It doesn't have to be perfect because like I said, you're not gonna see the actual light through, okay? So let's get some packing tape. You can use scotch tape as well. I just happen to have packing tape in my craft room. So I'm gonna use that. So we're just going to take a piece of packing tape. Let's make sure it's still working. Okay, light is working. Oh. Of course, I folded it over on itself. Okay, light is working. Packing tape is going down and it's just sticking that light in exactly where I want it. So it's touching both sides of the tape and so it lights up. Hope you can see that it's lighting up, but it is. I don't know if you can see it, but. Okay, so it is lighting up. We have made our circuit successfully. There's a little bit of stick here. Let's just, there we go, that's better. So we have made our circuit successfully. We have our negative and our positive and our light is touching the correct sides. So now we just need to put the card together. And there are a few tricks with that as well, okay? So let me just show you a couple of things that I ran into when I did this for the first time. So the battery is really the um, most cumbersome part of this whole system. And that means that you need to have dimensionals or foam tape around the sides that will make the front of your card sit higher than that battery. Or else, if your card is resting right on it, your battery will run out because your card will constantly be lit up, okay? So we need to suspend our card front over top of this battery so it's not constantly being engaged. We only want it to really light up when the recipient presses, okay? So a couple of things. Let's first take some dimensionals and I wanna put, my, put them around my battery so my battery doesn't move. Okay, so I don't want my battery to be, because if, if I put my card together, my battery, you know, moves all the way up here as it shakes and whatever, that's not going to work. We need our battery to stay in the right spot. Okay, so I'm just going to take some dimensionals and I'm basically just putting them down so my battery doesn't shuffle around inside my card. Okay. I'm not taking the backings off. They don't need the backings off. We're just using them to keep the battery in place, okay? So 
there we go. You actually don't want to take the backings off or else this piece might stick down, right? So we're keeping the backing in place and just putting the dimensionals around because so we don't want that battery to slip out of that little housing. Okay. Put one there. Oh, I think that's a good spot for a mini dimensional because it's just a tiny spot there. Okay, so now our battery isn't going to jump around. Like if I shake my card, it's not going to jump around. Okay, so there, that part complete. Perfect. So I did find when I was putting my original together, I used um, three dimensionals stacked on top of each other. But when I was done my card, I didn't really like how you could see the dimensionals um, behind and like have all these gaps. So I'm gonna use the adhesive foam tape. I think that's adhesive foam strips. I think that's what they're called. Um, and I'm gonna layer, double them up. Okay, so that way my card front will be suspended over that battery so it's not constantly um, engaged. Okay, so I've got one and then we'll take the backing off and put the second layer on top. So this card is going to be quite thick. Um, that's just the nature of it with having that battery in there. Okay, so we'll put these two layers all the way around. You have to let me know in the comments if you've ever made a lighted card before and if you're going to try this out because it's, it's really fun. I was thinking too with that beautiful Lights A Glow Suite, I think it's called, that would be an absolutely fantastic bundle um, to do this technique as well because it has those kind of like peekaboo dyes like this, like the snowflake. Okay, so let's put that down. Okay go. So now I know that my tape, my foam tape is higher than my battery because I can feel that if I stick my hand on top, it's not going to engage that battery. Okay. All the way around the edges here. Oh, yay. Karen's going to try it. Awesome. Oh, not sure if you have the patience. So, um, honestly, it's a lot easier than maybe it seems on the video. Like I'm going pretty slow because I'm doing a lot of talking and looking at the comments and whatever. Um, but it's, it's quite easy and it goes way faster. <laughs> okay. So we'll get that last piece of tape on there. These are called adhesive foam strips. That's the name. Or foam adhesive strips or, you know. As always, there's a link in the video description. At least I think there is. Just kidding. Okay, so we've got all this ready to go. So basically, the light part is done. It's ready to have the top go on. Our light still works. I don't know if you can see it lighting up. Okay, so what I need to do is then get the top of my card ready to put in place. Okay, because that's going to go right on top. But I need to do a couple of things. So I want to put a piece of vellum behind here because I want it to be like that nice soft light come through. I don't want because this light is I don't know if you can see it, but like it shines quite bright um, and I want it to diffuse a little. So I want to put this vellum behind. But first, I want to use my take your pick tool because now is the portion where I can start um, making these peekaboo dies do their little peekaboo thing. Because once I stick it on the vellum, it's a little bit harder, obviously. Um, but I mean, it, you can get these little peekaboos to pop out. But it's just easier if you do it from the back and just kind of push on them. And then they just pop right up. Oh. I just love how this looks. And then we go ahead 
and do these ones. Yeah, so all of the links for the items I've used, whether it's like the light portion or the um, Stampin' Up! products, like the paper and the bundle and everything, all of it is linked in the video description. So if you wanna make sure you're getting the right stuff, make sure you check the links that I have for you, okay? Um, that is just, okay, there we go. Oh, isn't that pretty how those all, it's just so gorgeous. So now I want to put my vellum behind because like I said, I want to kind of diffuse that light. So this piece of vellum is just um, four inches by five and a quarter, the same size as my Starry Sky cardstock. And I'm just going to use some of my liquid multi-purpose glue or multi-purpose liquid glue is what it's actually called. And I'm just going to add some onto that Starry Sky. And I'm avoiding obviously where I have the holes from my beautiful dies and I'm just going to stick that vellum right on top okay so this is like the back side of my card front okay and then I can just kind of put it in place and you can see I kind of accidentally pushed this one piece of the snowflake back in you can just use your take your pick tool and kind of pull it back out isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Okay, so now we're at the point where we can add this to this, okay? It's gonna be gorgeous, but let's first put it on our card base, okay? So the card base that I'm using is my thick basic white card stock, and this is four and a quarter by 11 inches, and I've scored it at five and a half. And we're just going to put our little light up piece on there okay so my battery may fall out and that's okay but because once everything goes together it'll be fine but I'm just gonna take my multi-purpose liquid glue and get that onto the front of my card okay this card ends up being kind of heavy because of like all the foam tape and the battery and the, the light and you just want to make sure that it's really secure. Okay, so we've got that on there. Battery can go back in to its little housing. Okay, looking good. And now we can take off the tops of the foam strips, like the little adhesive backer pieces. Okay, and we can put our beautiful card front in place. Okay, so just kind of looking from above. I need to kind of put it closer to me, sorry. And then I've got it in place. And you can see, hopefully, I don't know if you can see on the video, that the light is not engaged. It's not shining unless I press where the battery is. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. So because we use those two layers of the foam tape, the card front is suspended over the whole thing. So the battery isn't engaged until I press, right? Super cool. So we made a light up card. All we have left to do is add a few little embellishments, um, our sentiment, okay? So we've got some pieces cut out here. Oh, and I've got my beautiful Starry Sky ribbon and we're gonna finish putting this card together. I love that I can now make beautiful light up cards. So I want to take and add some snowflakes to the back of my sentiment and they're just kind of gonna peek out. So where is my seal adhesive? Oh my goodness, my table's such a mess, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna add just a bit of seal so I can have this snowflake kind of popping out from behind my sentiment. There's one. Put a little seal up here because I want another snowflake kind of popping out up here. Let's see, how do I want it to look? I think that looks good, okay? So then I have my beautiful starry sky ribbon and I'm going to make like a little um, twist kind of to go behind. So I just wrap it around my hand so you can see the end is here and I wrap it and I loop it under my pinky and back up to the top and then I just cut it at the top. 
Okay, so I've got a loop over here and then I've got my two tails and I just hold it on the loop, okay? And it's gonna go behind my sentiment. So I need a little bit more of my seal in the middle there because I want it to kind of go like that. Pretty, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's gonna go kind of like that. So I need some dimensionals on the back side. Oh, yay, I can see your comments. So you guys like the card. I'm very excited. Very cool. Okay. So dimensionals on the back side of our sentiment. So if you love this card, you are going to love my Joyful Flurry online class. We're using the same colors. Not only that, in the online class, I've included um, some of the specialty papers. So you're using some vellum, some flocked paper, um, some iridescent paper. We're using rhinestones. It's a pretty fancy class. We're using some silver. So it's like blues with splashes of silver. It is gorgeous. So don't miss that online class. Um, I just opened up registration for that class today and registration will probably be closing like, I don't know, Tuesday next week. That's usually when they're about full. Okay, so let's stick that down, cute. And I can ship my online classes anywhere in Canada. So there's a link in the video description. You can't miss this class, it's so beautiful. Oh, this is not one of the cards in the class. We're not making a light up card in the class, but. Okay, so I have my little blue snowflakes and I want to add just a couple. Okay, so this is my balmy blue snowflake. So I'm just gonna add them with my multi-purpose liquid glue. Okay. So there's one there. Oh, isn't this so pretty? And then let's put one up here. You know what, we can just add our, we're gonna do one up here too. So let's just put our adhesive on and then get our snowflakes on. There we go. So there's lots of ideas I can think of with that, with this bundle, with the light up features, but I also, like I mentioned, the lights a glow bundle, I think would be beautiful with the light up feature. So there is our beautiful light up card. If you missed the beginning, let me turn off the lights so you can really see it light up because it's kind of hard with all these lights on in my studio. So I'm going to turn them off so you can see the real true light up card. Right, let's close the laptop. I mean, it doesn't have to be this dark. It's just um, my camera tr on my phone tries to pick up as much light as possible. So it makes it hard to see the light up version. So, ta-da, isn't that gorgeous? So we've got that beautiful light up snowflake. So fun. And like I said, because we've got that card front suspended over the battery. It's not always engaged. It's just engaged when you press it. Okay, lights back on. So cool. So like I said, if you need any of the items to make the light up card, um, I do have them linked in the video description as well as all the other products. So like the ribbon, the cardstock, the inks, the fabulous Joyful Flurry bundle, everything is linked in the video description. So I would so appreciate if you would shop with me. It does make a difference and I am so thankful when I see your orders come through and I have a great shopping rewards program where you can earn free stamp sets just for shopping with me. So make sure that you check that out as well. Like I said, you can shop with me from anywhere in Canada. And I'm just so happy you were here to see this fun card today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my video tutorials. And it would mean the world to me if you left me a little love in the comments and gave this video a thumbs up. So thank you so much, everyone. I will be back to stamp with you again very soon. Bye!